Sesame Street is brought to you by the following. Support for Sesame Street is provided by America Online. My reports on Albert Einstein. Because sharing information is more important than ever. America Online, helping teachers teach and children be children. Looking for something fun and educational? We help people discover all the fascinating possibilities of the Internet. Look smart. Proud to sponsor Sesame Street. At Pfizer, we're committed to kids. We're always looking for ways to keep them healthy. Why? Let's just say we have lots of little reasons. Pfizer. Life is our life's work. Also funded by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Stinky. Oh. oh, hi. Welcome to Sesame Street. Uh, hello. Aren't you looking lovely today? I was just giving Stinky his morning drink of water. And it felt so wonderful. It's moments like these that make me realize what a great, big, beautiful world we live in. Did someone say big? Hey, Big Bird. Oh, hello, Big Bird. Hi. That was me. I said big. Ah, oh, well, that's funny you mentioned big, because today I'm going to show everyone big and little. Ooh! What are you going to show us that's big, Big Bird? Well, that's easy. Me. I'm big. <laughs> oh, yeah! That's probably why they call you Big Bird. Oh, and what are you going to show us that's little? Well, you see, that's what I'm looking for. Something little. Well, maybe Stinky and I can help you, Big Bird. Me? But what can I do? I'm just a little stinkweed. Hey, yeah! I'm a little stinkweed. Big Bird, I can show everyone little, if that's a right. Why, that's a great idea, Stinky. Let's do it. All right. Okay. <clears throat> I'm big. I'm little. <laughs> big. Little. Big. Little. Hey, good job, guys. Yeah, well, thank you, Stinky. Oh, I'm just happy to help you in your time of need. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Big Bird. Oh, boy. That Big Bird sure is lucky. Oh, uh, why do you say that, Stinky? Well, he always gets to be big. For once, I'd like to be big. But that's all right. Don't you worry about me. I'll just be a little plant in a great big world. <sighs> hmm. Hey, I've got an idea, Stinky. Huh? Why don't we find something smaller than you are, and then it would be little and you would be... <gasps> big? Exactly. Oh, oh, that is a marvelous idea, Gordon. Okay. All right, let's go find something little. If it's not too much of a burden, will you carry me? I like it when you carry me. Sure, Stinky. Oh, if it's not too much trouble, could you get my hat? It's oh. a little drafty. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Oh, much better, yes. Oh, go. thank you, Gordon. All right, here we go. Okay. 
How do you like my hat? Oh, it's very handsome. Thank you. Excuse me, but what do you have on your head? I have a small octopus on my head. You wear a small octopus on your head? Yes, I do. That's different from what I wear on my head. Oh, really? Oh, yes, it is. I wear a big octopus on my head. How do you do? Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> it is I, your cute furry blue super monster, Soap Pig Rover. And flying around up there, there is a cute furry pig super monster, Super Baby. Today, Super Baby and I are going to show you big and little. Yeah, right, Super Baby? <laughs> See, she is a little super monster, and I am a big super monster. But maybe you cannot see that. Uh, uh, super Baby, where, Super Baby, no one can see you if you are flying around like that. She certainly loves to fly, does she not? And she is very good at it. Uh, uh, come on, Super Baby! Come to us, the Super Rover! Come down the way I showed you! Come on, down here! Land on my arms! Yeah, yeah! You see, that is one way to tell a big super monster from a little super monster. Yeah, I am big, <laughs> so I can hold her in my arms. And she is little, so she can fit in my arms. But uh, you, you, have to, you have to see it to believe it. Uh, super baby! Come to Uncle Super Grover! Come on down now, just where I showed you! Where, where'd you go? Are you okay? Oh. Boy, for a little super monster, you certainly do pack a big wallop. Oh. Oh. So, here you have it. I, Super Grover, am big. And Super Baby is little. Well, that was an awfully big for a little super monster. I do not need a shower now. I know. Next. Stinky. Do you really think we'll find something smaller than me, Gordon? Oh, sure, Stinky. It will be easy. Oh, good. Oh, look! What? Gordon! What? Look at that strange creature. Oh. It's smaller than me. Oh, uh, Stinky, uh, I think... Come on, little creature. Let's show everybody big and little. Stinky, I, I, I really don't Shh. think you... Gordon, we're about to show Big and Little. Okay, I'm Big, and he's Little. Big, Little. Big, Little. Oh, that was so exciting. Thank you, little guy. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you're not Little. No, I'm a big elephant. A big elephant who's looking for his lost contact lens. Let me know if you find it. Mm, never mind. 
I found it. No. No. I'm still just a little plant. Hey. Wait a minute, Snicky, I have an idea. I'll be right back. Ooh. I hope it's a big idea. Wait, no. I hope it's a little idea. I mean, I mean, I just hope it's a good idea. <sighs> I believe in little things that you can hardly see, like honeycomb and spider webs and starfish in the sea. I believe in little things like icy drops of rain that melt into the morning mist when wind are warm again I believe in little things like colors in the sky and noticing the waves roll in and how the flowers die and knowing they'll be back again whenever there's July things like you and me and just how big little things can be Susie Kabloozy presents da -da -da -da, the letter of the day made out of fudge Oh, Fiff. Roll the film. Small pea painted purple on a pepperoni pizza pie. Mm. Big pea on a pony looking pretty as it passes by. Bees on a plate with some pickles, peppers, pie. It's Peter Panda. Peter Panda is a potter. Peter Panda the potter pushes the pedal with his paw. Peter Panda the potter makes a pyramid. Peter Panda the potter makes a pear. Peter Panda the potter makes a pot for his plant. Peter Panda the potter puts his pot in a perfect place on a pretty letter P. 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 The letter P. Oh, I still haven't found anything that's smaller than me. Hey, Stinky. Huh? Your troubles are over. They are? I found some friends here who have lots of stuff that's smaller than you are. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, Gabby. This rock is smaller than you, Stinky. <gasps> You're right. When the rock is next to me, I'm big and it's little. Big, little. Oh, boy. This is so exciting. But wait, there's more. There is? That's right, Sean. Oh, oh, let me see. Let me see. This ball is smaller than you, Stinky. It is? It is! When the ball is next to me, I'm big, and the ball is little. Big, little, big, little. Oh, this is just too much. I'm bigger than a rock and a ball. Yes, Stinky, you are bigger than a rock and a ball, but wait, there's still more. No. Yes. Ooh. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, Felicia. This toothbrush is smaller than you, Stinky. It can't be. But it is. 
When the toothbrush is next to me, I'm big, and the toothbrush is little. Big, little, big, little. <laughs> oh, what a day. I'm bigger than a rock, a ball, and a toothbrush. Right. Oh, I'm so happy. I am happy. I'm happy. <laughs> hmm, you know, I can't tell. Do, do you think Stinky is happy? Yes, he is. Oh, happy, yeah. happy, happy, happy. I think so. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, what exactly are we playing, Elmo? Oh, well, well, Whoopi, you have a choice. Oh, good. Okay, the drums or the violin. Oh. Mm hmm You mean that kind of playing? Yeah. But, you know, Elmo, I've never really played either one of those musical instruments before. Oh, it's okay, Whoopi. Really? <laughs> yeah, the important thing here is to play. Oh, I see. Okay, look, Whoopi. See that? Elmo will play the violin and Whoopi. The, uh, uh, here we go. Uh. Yeah, Whoopi will play the drum. All right. All right, so just listen to Elmo and do Whoopi's own thing. All right, Elmo, you're on. Hit it! Whoopi has come to play. Just warming up now. Watch this. Okay, go okay. Elmo has come to play. Elmo has come to play his way. Yeah. Elmo has come to rhyme the rhymes mm -hmm. and laugh the laughs. <laughs> it won't take time. Yeah. Elmo has come to play. Let us do some la la. Okay. La 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 la. Elmo, let's do this again sometime. Yeah, and next time, Whoopi can play the violin. <laughs> well, I better start practicing. Yeah. yeah. Hi. <laughs> 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 that was great! <laughs> How many legs does a beach ball have? Zero! How many gas stations on the moon? How many eggs does an elephant lay? Zero! How many gorillas on a spoon? Zero! How many tutus does a dinosaur wear? Zero! How many cows on a couch? Zero! How many feathers? On a robot. Zero! How many smiles? On a grouch. Zero! 
Hello, me Cookie Monster, and today me going to talk about number of the day using, what else, cookies. No big shock there, huh? Okay, me ready, send in cookies. <laughs> okay, okay, now under here is plate with cookies. If number of the day is five, then Five delicious cookies will be on plate. That good enough for me. But if number of the day is ten, then ten delicious cookies. That looking better. If twenty, me think you catch me drift. Okay, let's see how many cookies are on the plate. <laughs> oh, plate is empty. What? There, there, no cookies here. No cookies is zero cookies. Attention, please. The Sesame Street number of the day is zero. Oh, just me luck. This catastrophe. Hmm. Number zero is nice and round. It kind of like cookie. What the hey, me not picky. <laughs> Look like me got plenty of nothing. <laughs> Cookie, zero. Me not care. Hello. I filled my cup with sugar cubes, a pony ate them up. Now I've got no sugar cubes, there's zero in my cup. So I filled my cup with carrots. Oh no, here comes a bunny. Now I've got zero carrots. Don't laugh, this isn't funny. I filled my cup with peanuts. Look out, I see some tusks. Now I've got zero peanuts. He even ate the husks. I'll bet no one eats these sneakers. Oh gosh, this gets my goat. She's got zero sneakers, and we guess that's all she wrote. Hey! Well, not quite. Now I've got zero cups, too. All right, Stinky. So, you ready to go back home? Uh, yeah. I guess so. What's wrong? I'm sad. But you were just so happy. Yeah. I guess it's nice to be bigger than a rock and a ball and a toothbrush. But I want to know what it's like to be big. Really big, like you, or like Big Bird. I guess I just wish I were big. <sighs> out of the dirt, out of the ground, I'm here to help, because I heard sad sounds. What sounds? <laughs> oh, that was me. I made that sound. I hope it didn't bother you. Oh, no bother at all. When I hear sad sighs, I come to do magic before your eyes. Who are you? See the roots, leaves, and branches on the leg of my pant? Well, that stuff means I'm the fairy god plant. The fairy god plant? We know who I am, and I assure you it's true. Uh, now tell me, please, just who are you? Well, I, I'm Gordon, and this is Stinky. Oh, well, hello, my dear friends. You've both seen the wish. <laughs> now tell me, plant brethren, what is your wish? Oh, I'm just a plant. I don't want to be a bother. Ooh, nonsense. This is what I do. I grant plants wishes, and I'll grant them for you. Really? Oh, I'll grant you a wish. I'll fulfill your dream. So what is it you want? Fertilized ice cream? No. My wish. My wish. Uh, 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 Stinky, uh, 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 are you sure you want to do this? Yes. My wish is to be big, really big. Oh, so you want to be big. Is it possible, you wonder? Don't fret, little guy. I'll make you gigunda with a couple of words and a few magic squirts. You'll be just as big as 12 Ernie's and Bert's. 
Ooh, this is so exciting! Oh, orchid, rose, lily, geranium, make stinky as big as a dinosaur's cranium! <laughs> Well, not quite, Stinky. Ah, not so close, Gordon. Your head is huge. Oh, no. I'm smaller than I was before. I'm a teeny little plant. But don't worry, I'm alive. Oh, don't fret, my friends. I mistakenly mistook. <laughs> I'd better go get my fairy spell book. Stinky? Are you okay? Oh, sure. I'm just the size of a dill pickle, but that's a high. <sighs> Imagine. 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 Hi, I'm Susie Kabloozy, and you know what I can do? I can fly up in the sky. I can eat a 40-foot pie. I can jump a great big hurdle or dance with a purple turtle. I can ride on the back of an ant. Well, no, I can't. But in my head, up there, in my imagination, in my head, I can do it. It's a great sensation. In my head, in my head, in my head, in my head. I can do it in my head. <laughs> I can drive a racing car. I can be a movie star. I can meet the fish in the sea. Go to the moon and the manatee. I can even be a prickly plant. Well, no, I can't. But in my head, up there in my imagination, in my head, I can do it. It's a great sensation. In my head, in my head, in my head, in my head. I can do it in my head. Try to do it in your head. You can do it in your head. Imagination's in your head. I can do it in my head. No, oh, no, it's time for bed. Sorry, Dad. Hi. Wolfgang and I and this fish are, are going to show you all about zero. Oh. Uh-oh. I don't have a fish in my hand anymore. No fish. That's zero fish. <laughs> Now there are zero zeros. <laughs> I went off to the zoo today and I know, and you saw an elephant. No, I didn't see an elephant. Oh, tricky. Not an elephant. You saw two elephants. No. Okay, three. I did not see... I know, four elephants. No! All right, a whole herd of elephants. Stop! You want to know how many elephants I saw? Hey, what are you doing? I didn't see any elephants. I saw zero elephants. The zoo was closed. Don't worry, Stinky. I'm sure the fairy god plant will be able to fix this. I hope. Your troubles are over. I found a quick fix. I read it right here on page 86. Oh, that's nice. Are you sure you got the right spell this time, fairy god plant? Hey, cut me some slack. And a break, give me two. I'm the fairy god plant. I know what to do. Touchy. Ooh. Please, please make me big. <clears throat> Cactus, azalea, and a tree with a fig. Now let's all watch Stinky grow really big. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Am I big? Oh, my goodness. 
I am big. Gordon, I can see the top of your head. Oh my, you're losing your hair. But don't worry, it looks nice. My work here is done. <laughs> Say goodbye to me, will ya? I gotta go help a depressed boogamillion. No, 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 but wait, 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 no, you, you, wait. <sighs> well, What's wrong, Gordon? Well, well, she left and she didn't change you back to your regular size. Oh, I don't want to be my regular size. I'm happy being big. I'm happier than I've ever been in my whole entire life. You know why? Cause I'm big, I'm big, I'm a big plant now. I used to be a little guy, but now my leaves, they reach the sky. Big, 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 big. I used to be so tiny, now I'm not tiny at all. You'll have to look way up to find me now. I'm really tall. I'm big, I'm big, I'm a big plant now. A small plant sit among us. Now this weedy is humongous. Big, 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 big. Stinky? Wow, I'm bigger than Big Bird. Doesn't get any bigger than this. Wait till I tell snuff. Let's face it, I'm big. <laughs> Plant. Pea plant. Pod. Pick. Pot. Peas. More peas, please. She flies up to the moon. She has a sandwich, and then she goes back home. In her rocket, with a pocket on the side, where she keeps her bottle when she goes for a ride. That was great, Cyrus! Boy, Elmo wishes Elmo had a big brother just like you. Then Elmo's brother would sing, Elmo is beautiful, Elmo flies up to the moon. <laughs> Howdy, Ranger Armbuckle here. Plants, how do they get where they're going? How did they get where they are? People and animals travel by foot and bus and boats and they fly. If trees and plants with their roots in the ground couldn't go on trips, why everything would grow in one spot. And that'd be stupid now, wouldn't it? Plants, as everybody knows, grow up from little seeds, and little seeds go on trips. Well, sometimes it's a short trip because they just plain fall down. Some seeds are sticky little birds hitchhiking on furry feet and flannel shirts. Some fly through the air, and some float in the ocean. But no matter which way they travel, when their amazing trips are over, they start growing wherever that may be. And then, their traveling days are usually over. The end. Oh, Gordon, I'm so happy. This is just lovely. Well, I, I'm glad you're happy, Stinky, but are you sure you want to be this big? Oh, yes. I love being big. I'm a lot closer to the clouds now. It's wonderful. Well... I'm glad you like it. Uh, listen, I've, I've got to get home and help Susan with dinner. Oh, okay. okay. I'll come home with you. Let's go. Um, uh, how, Stinky? Well, 
You can carry me like you always do. Uh, Stinky, I, I can't carry you anymore. You you're too big. Are you sure? Well, I'll give it a try. Okay. Come on, Lord, you can do it. <sighs> Stinky, I'd say carrying you is out of the question. Oh, no. But, but I love when you carry me. You do it so lovingly. But that's all right. We can get Bob, Louise, and Maria to help you. Then I can go sit back on your windowsill. Uh, Stinky, I don't think you can do that either. I can't? No, you're too big. You won't fit on the windowsill anymore. But, but I love the windowsill. It's comfortable and gets nice light, and it's close to you. I'm sorry, Stinky. Oh, you can't carry me anymore. And I can't sit on your windowsill and be near you and lovely Susan. This is not all right. In fact, it's terrible. Well, I guess you were the perfect size for a stinkweed before, right, Stinky? Yeah, I was. I wish I was that size again, Gordon. <sighs> I, I heard your sad sigh. In fact, it sounds sadder. Tell me, dear stinkweed, now what's the matter? Oh, fairy god plant of mine, I was wrong. Being big isn't what I thought it would be. I can't be carried lovingly by my friend Gordon, and I can't live on my nice windowsill anymore. So tell me a wish. Say it with a shout, but please hurry up, because you're wearing me out. Please, please, please make me my old, regular fit on the windowsill size again, please. Carnation, Petunia, and a Daffodil shrink Stinky down so he can fit on a sill. You're back to the size you were yesterday. Now tell me, dear Stinkweed, what do you say? I had a hat. All right, all right, all right. I'll get your hat. Uh, what happened to your rhyming? I'm too tired. Joy, I'm myself again. Thank you, fairy god plant. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. And I thought the tooth fairy had it hard. <sighs> <sighs> well, Stinky, you ready to go home? I sure am, Gordon. As long as you carry me. That is, if it's not too much trouble. No problem. This is the life. <laughs> la 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 la, la 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 la, Elmo's world. <laughs> la 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 la, la 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 la, Elmo's world. Elmo <laughs> lost his goldfish, his crayon too.
but, but Dorothy has a question. How do you give water to a plant? Great question, Dorothy. <laughs> oh, let's ask Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle! What are you doing? Shade is at it again. Please, Shade, please. Thank you. Oh, look, it's Mr. Noodle's brother, Mr. Noodle. Hi, Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle, how do you give water to a plant? How do you feed a plant, Mr. Noodle? He's thinking. What are you going to do with that glass, Mr. Noodle? Mr. Noodle, what are you doing? Why are you pouring water into the glass? No, no. no. <laughs> Mr. Noodle, why are you drinking it? You don't drink the water. You will give it to the plant. Give it to the plant, Mr. Noodle. Oh! Mr. Noodle was thirsty. Yeah, he was thirsty. But the plant's thirsty too, Mr. Noodle. Give the plant some water. Yeah, give the plant some water. Yeah. Is Mr. Noodle thirsty again? Then what are you doing? No! No! Mr. Uh -uh. Noodle, plants can't drink like that. Try something else. A straw? What's the straw for? What's the straw for? <laughs> Mr. Noodle, plants don't drink with straws. <laughs> Mr. Noodle, they can't drink from a straw either. It's a plant. Just pour the water. Pour the water. Pour the water on the plant. No! Not on the floor. Plant. It needs lots of water. Thank you, Dorothy. Now, Elmo will ask a baby. <laughs> oh, hi, baby. Um, <laughs> oh, baby, how do you water a plant? <laughs> oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> And now, Elmo has a question for, for, for you. <laughs> How many squirrels are hiding in this tree? Let's count them and see. One. One squirrel. Two. Two squirrels. Three. Three squirrels. Four. Five. Six. Seven. are hiding in this tree. Great counting, everybody. Hey, look! There's only one squirrel in this tree. Oh, well, it peeked out nine times. You fool that squirrel. <laughs> goodbye, squirrel. Goodbye, tree. <laughs> oh, oh, what's that, Dorothy? Hmm? Oh, okay, okay. Dorothy says that trees don't usually show up like that. Out of nowhere. Oh, okay. Dorothy says trees usually grow out of the ground. Yeah. Oh, Dorothy, you're so smart. Hmm? Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Elmo 
Joe wants to know what else grows out of the ground. And what does it? Don't you? Let's find out. Oh, not again, Troy. Do carrots grow out of the ground? Yes! Do oranges grow out of the ground? No! But they grow on a tree that does. <laughs> Do worms grow out of the ground? No! But they live in the ground. <laughs> Except for Slimy. He lives in a trash can. <laughs> Silly drawer. Elmo loves Slimy. Slimy's Elmo's friend. Elmo has another friend, Cody, who grew his own plant. Cool, huh? Cody told Elmo all about it. First, Cody took some paper towels, crumbled them up nice and tight, and stuck them in a glass. Then, he took some beans and dropped them on top of the paper towel. See the beans? <laughs> now, Cody knows that plants need water to grow, so he poured some water on top of the beans. And he waited. And he watered. And he waited. <laughs> and he watered. And waited. And watered. <laughs> and waited. Until finally, after lots of days, the bees began to grow. Wow. <laughs> Cody put some dirt in a pot. Put the bean plant in the pot. Then Cody put some more dirt on top of it so it could stand up nice and straight. <laughs> Good, Cody. Good, Mommy. Cody knows that plants need sunlight to grow, so he found a nice sunny spot for his bean plant. And he watered it. Cody kept watering the bean plant and it kept growing. He watered and watered and watered. And the bean plant grew and grew and grew. What a beautiful plant. Great job, Cody. <laughs> there. <laughs> Look. Elmo liked Cody's bean plant so much Elmo's growing one, too. <laughs> oh, and while we wait for it to grow, we can find out more about flowers, plants, and trees. But how can we find out more? Hmm. Ah. <laughs> hey, yeah. That's right. We can watch the flower, plant, and tree channel. Go on, TV. The Flower, Plant, and Tree Channel. All flowers, all plants, all trees. We're growing all the time. And now, the Tree Lady. Hello, plant lovers. It's me, the Tree Lady. Today on the Flower, Plant, Tree Channel, I'm going to show you how to pretend to be a tree. Don't worry, you can do it. It's as easy as one, two, three. Anyway, all you have to do is use your imagination. Are you ready? Then, let's pretend. First, imagine you've got roots that go deep into the ground. Are you imagining? I am. Can't be a tree without roots. That's how you get water and food from the ground. Are you rooted? Good. Now, imagine you've got a nice strong trunk made out of wood. Trees are made out of wood, you know. Ready for more? Good. Pretend that long branches and limbs are growing out from your trunk. Also made of, you guessed it, wood. Beautiful. Now comes the bark. Gotta have bark. Now what? Something's missing. All right, the leaves. Can't leave out the leaves. There, we did it. We're trees. Hey, you're really great at pretending. That's it, I think. I guess I can go now. No, I can't. I'm a tree. Boy, I've got some imagination. 
See you later. Take it easy. <laughs> See, Elmo's pretending to be a tree too. A giant elm. Oh. <laughs> but Elmo wants to look at his plant. Oh. It hasn't stopped growing yet. Elmo will keep waiting. <laughs> and watering too. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Boy, and waiting. Alma would like to find out more about flowers, plants, and trees, wouldn't you? But how? <laughs> oh. Help me? You want to talk to a cactus? Yeah, Alma would love to talk to a cactus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but wait a minute. Huh? Why would Alma talk to a cactus about Flowers, plants, and trees. Because a cactus is a plant. That's why. Oh, get out of town. Huh? Cactus doesn't look like a plant. Well, where, are your, where are your leaves at? Oh, well, I don't have leaves, Elmo. But I have these prickly spiny things called spines. And I'm still a plant. I can even grow a flower. Watch. <sighs> No, 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 thanks, but not now, Elmo. Huh? But, 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 Elmo thought plants need water. Well, plants do need water. Mm -hmm. But I don't need as much as other plants. Huh. That's why I live in the desert, where it's hot and dry and sunny. Hee-haw! <laughs> I love it. And right now, Elmo, I couldn't drink another drop. Do other plants live in the hot, dry, sunny desert with cactus? Well, uh... Oh. Sir, I do. Wow, that's a tumbleweed. It sure is. Ooh, what a tumbler. <laughs> Lots of plants live in the desert. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> Bye. Oh, bye, tumbleweed. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there are lots of plants that live in other places. Ah, what other places? Well, Elmo, some plants live in the big cities. Hee-haw. <laughs> oh, look, look, look. Dorothy's imagining Elmo watering plants in a big city. Some plants live in the ocean, where there's already plenty of water. Lots of plants live in the jungle. <laughs> so you see, plants can live just about anywhere. Mm, Elmo sees. <laughs> Ooh, look. Mm. Elmo's bean plant can live right here on Elmo's world. If it ever starts growing... It'll grow, Elmo. Just be patient. Okay. Well, gotta go catch some rays. Adios. <laughs> Bye, cactus. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was a friendly cactus. Oh, Elmo knows another friendly plant. Stinky. Mm -hmm. So Elmo made a video of Stinky the Plant with this camera. It's called <clears throat> Stinky the Plant. By Elmo. <laughs> oh, TV! TV, where are you? T TV! <laughs> TV, stop growing! You're not a plant! Okay, be a TV! Now turn yourself on! Good TV! What do you want me to do, Elmo? Huh, do you, I look alright? You look alright! How are my leaves? They're very How, pretty! How's my stem? Nice! How's my nose? Okay. Nobody's ever made a video of me before. Shouldn't I be doing something? Stinky's doing just fine being a plant. Oh, thank you, Elmo. And you're doing just wonderfully being a monster. <laughs> oh, thank you, Stinky. You're welcome. Okay, now let's play for the camera. Okay. <laughs> bloopy, 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 bloopy. Thank you, TV. Now Elmo wants to look at his plan again. <laughs> It 
has tiny roots and a stem. Yay! <laughs> Elmo loves his new plant. Oh. <laughs> Elmo loves all kinds of flowers, plants, and trees. So does Dorothy. That's why Dorothy wants us to sing the Flowers, Plants, and Trees song. Ooh, the Flowers, Plants, and Trees song. My favorite. Mind if I sing along? Oh, no, no. Sing with Elmo. Thanks. You sing, too. <laughs> Here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Flowers, plants, trees. Flowers, plants, trees. Flowers, plants, trees. Come on in, Tumbleweed. Flowers, plants, trees. Flowers, plants, trees. Flowers, plants, trees. Flowers, plants, trees. What song is going on, Elmo? Flowers, plants, trees. Yeah. Flowers, plants, trees. Flowers, plants, trees. Flowers, plants, trees. Why don't you do this with me? Okay. Sesame Street was brought to you today by the letter P. Woo! And by the number zero. Right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Sesame Street is brought to you by the following. No matter what it is you're looking for, we help uncover all the fascinating possibilities of the internet. Look smart. Proud to sponsor Sesame Street. Pfizer brings you the letter Z. For Zebra, and of course, Zithromax. More information is just a click away. Support for Sesame Street is provided by America Online. My reports on Albert Einstein. Because sharing information is more important than ever. America Online, helping teachers teach and children be children. Also funded by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. and get ready for takeoff. You're on your way to Terrytown to visit JJ and his fast flying friends. JJ the jet plane is next. Hey everybody, what's my lunch? Use your imagination. What's in that? Anything you want. And steak, letters and stories, dinosaurs and ballet slippers, <laughs> robots and stars, you name it, try some, won't you? Wow, a robot cane Whoa, ballerina astronaut. Great. What's the steak for? My lunch. <laughs> I can't stop reading. School, one way, bakery, pizza, circus. No dogs allowed. Eat, open, stop. 